Welcome and Namaste to the Sleeping Buddha Course. My name is Ralf Eisend. In the broadest sense, consciousness is the experience of mental states and processes. Consciousness has not yet been scientifically explained. So, it is not known how and why consciousness arises from physical and biological processes. It is generally assumed that animals with sufficient complex brain structure have a so-called phenomenal consciousness and thus not only receive stimuli but also experience themselves in a perceived environment. This experience includes sensations through our senses, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling, but also the perception of moods such as joy, sadness, fear or shame. When exactly this consciousness arises in humans and how it develops is unclear. It is also unclear how much, how much consciousness animals have and whether there are different forms of consciousness. This is how you trust a dog to have a consciousness and a cat too, but it is difficult for us to determine if an ant or a plant perceives consciousness. Consciousness has a lot to do with sleep, in that the awake state can be distinguished from the sleep state. In the state of sleep our senses, as well as the perception of moods, are greatly reduced. However strong stimuli influence sleep, we cannot sleep with loud noises, with bright lights, or even when we feel pain. Joy, sadness and fear, strong moods also affect our sleep. From my point of view, Western cultures and religions are not concerned with either the conscious or the subconscious. These religions tend to regulate behavior between people in the form of rules. They do not deal with dealing with ourselves. An active cultivation of consciousness and thus our perception of the world around us is not practiced in the West. We can only see a doctor or a therapist if problems occur. My trip through India however, is not a religious pilgrimage, although the hikes lead past numerous Hindu temples and through the landscape where Buddha was born and taught. I decided to go on this trip through India because the people here have been dealing with states of consciousness for well over 2,500 years and have developed techniques to influence the consciousness. My hike through northern India now leads me steadily uphill. I'm slowly leaving the subtropical climate zone. I cross the Ganges to the north, leaving the heat behind and the indulgence of the humid days. With every stage of the day, the air becomes thinner, the nights colder, the rivers clearer, and the paths steeper. In the morning, It had started to rain shortly after I got up and the rain continued throughout the day. I take a path through a dense forest that leads along a stream with numerous waterfalls. I keep stopping and making sound recordings that you hear. The heavy drops drum on the leaves in the trees, they fall dull on the soft ground and sound brightly on stones and rocks. Everything is covered with water, everything is full with moisture. The water bubbles, mumbles and laughs brightly. On my journey, I try to experience my life in the simplest way possible. I take a viewpoint as far away from, from my normal everyday life as possible in order to recognize the structures and connections from a distance. I distance myself 
from my existing ideas in order to create space and freedom for new ideas and new insights. Only now, after many days of being on the way, I am making an important finding. The industrialized daily routines cause deep traces of destruction to our vitality and joy of life. Our daily routines are determined by fixed appointments and we are performing a lot of boring, unresonating, irrelevant activities. My vitality and joy have increased significantly in the last couple of weeks. I think it's because my daily routine here on my trip through India is very much connected with the sunrise and the sunset. I wake up early with the sun, am active during the day and recharge my batteries. By immersing myself in nature and directly experiencing the living being of nature, I have broken up my isolation and opened myself a little to the universal stream of life. My inner compass synchronizes and aligns again and brings me into Yeah, maybe something like a cosmic harmony. In the evening, I pass a waterfall and set up camp under a ledge that protects me from the rain. I even find dry branches and make myself a campfire and some rice with vegetables. I look into the fire and reflect on how my hike has changed me. During the day, I'm more alert and active. At night, I sleep deeper. My tides, my ebb and flow, my day and night, my up and down has stabilized. The regular breathing exercises to fall asleep also help me to be more attentive and conscious during the day. The natural light that I'm exposed to all day vitalizes me. I realize that I was like a plant standing in the dark corner. Sufficient light during the day helps us to stabilize our hormonal balance, ensures a high during the day and the necessary low at night. In order to keep the body in balance between tension and relaxation, it is necessary to practice relaxation actively and regularly. We haven't sufficiently developed the necessary feeling for our muscle senses or we have forgotten to perceive them. As a result, we've lost our natural ability to relax to a certain extent. Often, we are no longer aware of the extent of our own stressful situation. This is where progressive muscle relaxation process comes in. It teaches you to consciously perceive states of tension and relaxation through regular practice in everyday life. It is astonishing if you realize how great the general basic tension is in your everyday life. This basic tension costs energy unnecessarily and in the worst case can lead to illness in the long run. Mental and muscular tension are interrelated. Stress symptoms such, such as nervousness and fear always occur together with the tension in the muscles. The process of progressive muscle relaxation leaves us right there. It aims to loosen the muscles through targeted exercises. As soon as the muscle relaxes, the psyche also relaxes at the same time. This process takes place automatically in every person to a certain extent as soon as they are in a state of rest. Therefore, this automatism is used in progressive muscle relaxation. The advantage of this method lies in the fact that it's easy to learn, it's great simplicity and efficiency. 
the exercises are based on specifically tensing and relaxing muscle groups and consciously perceiving the difference. This simple technique can be learned by everyone. Continuous practice decreases the average values for blood pressure, pulse and respiration rate. The reaction to stressful situation is weakened. The sensitivity to physical and mental states of tension increases. Fatigue is positively influenced. Close your eyes and listen to your breath. Breathe in and out quietly. Now listen to the noises around you. Perceive your surroundings. Now imagine the room that you're in. See yourself from the outside as you lie down. Imagine the house that you're in. And listen to your breath again. Now put your arms and hands next to you and keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in for five seconds. Hold. And breathe out again. Inhale. Hold your breath. And breathe out. If you're lying down, put your legs slightly apart, arms next to your body, palms up. The characteristic of the flow in this exercise is the systematic tensing and letting go, which is done in a little more detail than in classic yoga relaxation. Tensing and letting go consists of five parts. First, the muscle before tensing, then the feeling of the muscle while you tense, then when it is tense, then when you slowly let go. The fifth part follows feeling the muscle after it is relaxed. Today, we go through the body from bottom up, from the feet to the head. Feel your right leg from your toes to your hip. Now tighten the leg slowly, gradually feeling more and more what it's like to tighten the muscles of the leg Lift the heel a little, keep the tension. Feel what it's like when the leg is tense. Then lower the leg slowly in slow motion and feel what it's like when the muscles slowly relax and are fully relaxed. Now feel the left leg Feel the left leg from your toes to your hip and slowly tense your left leg. Feel what it's like to increase the tension and let it become stronger. At the same time, lift your leg a little and feel what it's like when the muscles are tense. Lower the leg very slowly. Feel what it's like when the muscle relaxes and feel the whole leg while it's relaxed. Now you feel your bum and lower back. Then slowly tense the muscles. 
slowly lift the pelvis and feel how it is to tense the muscles. Feel what it's like when you are tense. Relax slowly. Feel what it's like when you relax your muscles and are relaxed. Feel the muscles of the upper back and shoulder blades and between the shoulder blades. Now slowly tighten your back muscles, pull your shoulders together behind your back. Feel what it's like when the back muscles are tightened. You pull the shoulder blades closer and closer together. Feel it, keep your muscles tense. Then very slowly let go and feel the muscles relax. And feel the muscles of the upper back. Feel what it's like when the muscles are fully relaxed. Now feel your stomach. Feel the abdominal muscles. Consciously feel your belly. Then slowly contract the abdominal muscles. Lift your knees and legs and also your upper body and keep the belly muscles very tight and slowly loosen the muscles feel the abdominal muscles relax notice how the relaxation occurs and then feel how your belly feels when you are relaxed feel the muscles of your arms from your fingertips to your shoulders then slowly Tighten the muscles. Feel what it's like to tighten the muscles. Step by step. Raising your arms a little. Then feel what it's like when the arms are well tensed. The fists too. Clench your fists. Slowly loosen the tension in your arms. And feel what it's like when the arms are slowly relaxing and are relaxed. Feel the muscles of the shoulder. Then slowly pull your shoulder upwards over your chest, feeling your shoulders tense. Feel how your shoulders feel when they are tense. Loosen the shoulder slowly Feel that the shoulders relax, push the shoulders back down into your mattress slightly and feel how your shoulders feel relaxed. Now feel the body as a whole from the toes to the head, from the left to the right, below to above. Slowly tighten as many parts of the body as you can, as many muscles as possible. Feel slowly tightening and feel the whole body under tension, including the toes, fists and face. And then loosen up slowly. Feel the body as it's relaxing and going into a relaxed state. Now feel your whole body relax. Inhale and gently let go. Continue your conscious breathing and relax your body. Ease up and relax more each time you let your breath gently go. You've accomplished a lot today. You've seen and heard a lot. Now is your time to unwind. You've been thinking and speaking a lot. You've earned your rest. 
You've moved around and worked a lot. You've done enough today. Relax and enjoy this peaceful, quiet moment.
Bye. Uh -huh.